Modern Warfare 2 and its impending reveal should be right around the corner in a few weeks time at this point. But one of the more peculiar things of the marketing that we've seen so far is the branding of the new era of Call of Duty is coming. Reiterated across multiple mentions of the game from what is initially confirmed all the way up to what we've seen recently. So what exactly is a new era of Call of Duty? Today, that's what we hope to tackle when it comes to the verbiage surrounding the game. And we're talking my thoughts on a realistic vision of what a new era for Call of Duty may in fact look like. What may lie ahead? As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What do you think will make Modern Warfare 2 the new era of Call of Duty? Anything in particular that you're hoping to see? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. As well, if you're new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe button to update with all things Modern Warfare 2 here. We have a lot upcoming here with a potential reveal just about 10 days away now at this point. So if you guys are at all interested in staying up to date with all of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all of it. And finally, for this weekend only, I actually think today may be the last day here for it. My friends over at Gamer Advantage have bumped up code Espresso to 20% off site-wide and have an additional 10% on certain frames and lenses. I think actually the recommendations that I always make of the Horizon frames are added on top of that. So you have a 30% off discount with those ones. So if you guys are at all interested in learning more, check the link in the description below. That said, let's jump into it. So this new era of Call of Duty. When we look at Modern Warfare 2 right now, we're expecting a lot from what insiders and leakers have presented, but on a truly official level or capacity, we don't know a ton just yet. We had that logo and art reveal giving us some returning and new faces, but narratively and gameplay-wise, all we have are kind of clues. However, when we look at these new leaks and insider insight, we may be able to discern a little bit of what this means in regards to the new era of Call of Duty. New era likely refers to some fundamental approaches to the game, both from maybe say a larger picture scale, but also some stuff fundamentally in terms of gameplay. So today we're gonna talk about both of those avenues that this could go. Now, firstly, on a sort of more basic level, a sort of more basic approach to the overall Call of Duty experience, I wouldn't be surprised if at the very least, it's just a sort of hard reset. Rank resets and disconnects to where Modern Warfare 2 may be the start of a new independent sort of loop with Modern Warfare 2 and not being connected to Modern Warfare 2019 through the Vanguard era that we saw with this past three year string, this potentially being its own sort of thing with Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 being the start of a new connected experience in terms of ranking and everything going forward. Continuing on then to Treyarch's next game and beyond with a fully optimized and standalone Warzone 2 as that midpoint. Admittedly, while I love the fact that you can rank up through Modern Warfare, Cold War, or Vanguard MP, or Warzone in terms of your overall rank, your battle pass, and stuff like that, this situation that we have right now was kind of created on the fly. As we've learned about and discussed in the past, Warzone has never really meant or intended whenever it was created to be this long-standing thing. It was really meant to just be an additional game mode for Modern Warfare 2019, but then it of course became what it was, and this interconnectivity was kind of thrown in on the fly in motion. But now, planning out for the entire future, knowing that Warzone will be that sort of central pillar, it's very possible that could be the hard reset. And from here on out is when we see things actually intended to be connected. So that three year window might just be something that is its own independent thing. One thing also that's been long standing as a rumor is the potential for a subscription based service. Now, as mentioned, this is just a rumor and until anything official happens, perhaps with the reveal coming here in a little bit over a week's time, it seems maybe we get some clarity on if this happens at all. And if it does, what it would actually be. But when you take a look at the world overall, in terms of gaming, in terms of tech, subscription based services are kind of making their way into the forefront here. But with Modern Warfare 2 potentially being a live serviced and supported game for two years, while Treyarch apparently got the nod to go ahead and launch their next game in 2024, giving a bit more time to craft something instead of rushing something out year over year, a subscription type service wouldn't be something that would surprise me at that point. You'd end up getting some more revenue throughout that secondary year here, but what would it entail? I have no idea. That just being a rumor right now, maybe it means bonus maps over time, bonus camos and blueprints. Who knows, but it'd be a way to sort of keep that revenue on the business side of Call of Duty going throughout year two. But one thing that I can almost certainly tell you that won't change here out of this new era is that I don't think that we'll get rid of those big key things that we saw introduced with Modern Warfare 2019 and beyond. Things like cross-play, cross-save, free DLC, the shop that we saw introduced, free-to-play aspects among Warzone and other locations. 
I don't think that is going to be something that is in fact changed at all. So while a new era may signal more additional changes, these core fundamentals to the Call of Duty experience, I don't think that those are going anywhere. And for the most part, I'm okay with that. For the most part, I quite enjoy some of these changes that we saw introduced with 2019's Modern Warfare. I quite enjoy the fact that no matter what platform I play on, I can play with another friend, whether it be on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. Now, would I love to see some things adjusted, like the shop pricing? Absolutely. But when it comes back to some of those fundamental things, it's more so going to be building on top of what is already established as sort of positives for the Call of Duty franchise. Now, outside of that, talking a little bit more from a gameplay perspective here, we can start firstly by the gameplay feel being a new portion of this new era of Call of Duty. It's mentioned by industry insider Ralph's Valve that we'll see substantial engine upgrades with Modern Warfare 2. Vanguard saw some minimal upgrades in terms of the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. Cold War didn't really utilize it that much until we ended up seeing Raven introduce stuff into Warzone, but the mainline game didn't really see much. But Vanguard, we saw some water play also seen in Warzone. The ability to mount and move was one of those things added, destructible environments to a degree. That stuff was engine upgrades over top of what we saw on Modern Warfare 2019. But what this holds, we don't quite know in terms of these substantial engine upgrades, though it is rumored we'll see the ability to swim via the Warzone map leaks that we saw, and also that we'll see the ability to slide and dolphin dive based on player input, controllable to use either in-game based on mechanic selection. Now that stuff is rumored, but a lot of substantial upgrades could also come down to things like your audio engine. That was one of the biggest things that we saw discussed around Modern Warfare 2019 early on. I remember when our pre-briefing about a week before Modern Warfare Warfare 2019 was revealed to the world. We were out in Infinity Ward studio in their theater room and the audio team came in and while we were watching in that theater room, they broke down every layer of gunshot audio for us, showcasing the initial fire audio, the directional panning of how the rounds would ricochet off the ground when fired with those falling shells, how the type of area you were in would affect the audio itself, i.e. if you were outside in say Piccadilly versus inside of Azir Cave. The audio engine is always a huge focal point with Infinity Ward and with this year being a main focal point on next gen, I'd also imagine the visual aspect is majorly stressed on as well, offering major improvements to the graphical engine. Character modeling and rendering, lighting and everything, going to a much more appealing visual presentation for the game in-game. One thing kind of adding to this and how they may be paying attention to the detail is that right now it's rumored that we'll see camo wearing, meaning that the more kills you end up getting with a weapon and a camo equipped means that you'll get a more battle-worn effect on it, which would be pretty cool. But speaking of next-gen, one of the big things that Ralph has mentioned in the past and other insiders as well is that there's going to be a substantial generational difference. Now, while it's not officially confirmed too much just yet. We did see from some of the leaks here of the pre-orders that are upcoming for Modern Warfare 2 that the beta will be available on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 first, meaning that PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will still be supported here, but with a discussion of last gen versus current gen, the new era in and of itself could just be something that also refers to that. While developed with last gen in mind, the new era can easily encompass this being the first game fully built on next gen, but with a last gen port. So that could be something that is the new era as well. Additionally, from gameplay changes, we saw that skill-based matchmaking adjustments would be something that's made, or rather retention-based matchmaking if we want to get technical and more accurate with it, where insiders have described this as less debilitating matchmaking, but the disbanding lobbies will in fact stay but with less debilitating matchmaking, that's a positive step in the right direction, I think, where you're not going to have such strict matchmaking where you see the same 100 players over and over every single day, every single match, where your connection isn't being sacrificed in order to fit you into this sort of matchmaking bracket and other factors like that. So that also could be something that is a new era of Call of Duty, adjusting on something that the last three years has introduced as a heavy mechanic and heavy invisible hand in matchmaking, that could be something that's adjusted as well. And then finally, in regards to stuff like the expansion into more content, I mean, that is something that could be the first time a new era of Call of Duty that we see as much content post-launch as we do. Modern Warfare 2, of course, having the full three-year development cycle to work on, but also being the first game that will have a two-year support window if all these rumors actually do follow true, where Activision greenlit Treyarch to go in 2024, offering an additional year in terms of development so as to alleviate any stress and to avoid any mishaps that we saw with Black Ops Cold War and Vanguard being rushed games as well. So that could be something that this just pertains to that overall, offering more content over a longer window of time. 
But, I mean, honestly, when I take a look back at it and I think about all of these things we talked about, I think that when it comes down to it, the new era of Call of Duty isn't going to just simply be one individual thing. It could be something as simple as the first game for two years of support or something like a generational divide in the first game on next generation. Or it could be stuff all the way down to the first loot and extract game mode in DMZ. The first game mode specific something. It could be a number of things that this could pertain to, but in all reality, I think it's going to be a large number of things that compile into this larger grand experience for Call of Duty. I mean, when you think about it, cross save, cross progression, those were unheard of in Call of Duty. Free DLC, unheard of in Call of Duty up until Modern Warfare 2019. So it's very possible we see a huge number of things adding to this and making up that new era of Call of Duty. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that this is some logical ways to look at what very well may be the next new era of Call of Duty? Whatever the case, drop it below. But before we wrap everything up, a reminder, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. If you're like me, who's on a device nearly 24-7, me, it's my PC, either gaming and getting footage for videos, editing, commentating, whatever the case, I'm at my PC almost 24-7. And over the years, combating blue light is something that I've absolutely struggled with. From eye fatigue to sleeping habit issues, I've had it all. And in that time, I've searched for the best help available and Gamer Advantage absolutely is that. And right now, again, their products are 20% off site-wide with code Espresso, and in some cases, 30% off for the holiday weekend. They're the best on the market, in my opinion, incredibly comfortable, durable, and most importantly, clinically proven. So I'd highly recommend the Horizon Frames. They're incredibly lightweight. Half the time I forget I have them on my face. But if you guys are at all interested in learning more, protecting your vision health, check the link in the description below. You cannot go wrong with any of their stuff. And of course, if you want to pick something up, use code Espresso. That said, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts once again down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2 here with a lot upcoming. That said, thanks so much for watching. Modest Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.